Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft Creeper. All right, in the notes section below, I have included the pattern. So go ahead and print that off so you can follow along with me. I also included in the notes section below all of the materials that you're going to need so you can be good to go. So let's go ahead and create this little guy. All right, the first thing that we are going to make is the head of the Minecraft Creeper. Start with a bit of a tail, and that's going to be our row counting tail. I'm going to put my slip knot right here. So I'm going to start that slip knot right there. Insert my hook and pull tight. Okay, at the very beginning of the pattern, it shows that we're working in rounds. We're going to start with a circular shape. So you can either start with the chain two method where you just chain two, one, two, or you can make the magic ring and then you'll be working inside the magic ring. We're going to put eight single crochets in the first chain. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, Pull through both loops. That's one single crochet in that same space. Single crochet two. Seven and Eight. Perfect. Now we're going to take the marker tail. You're going to yarn over with that tail and pull it straight through that loop. All we've done is indicated we've reached the end of this round. And now we're going to slip stitch in the first, the top of the first single crochet. So here's the first single crochet. Insert your crochet hook at the top of it right there. Yarn over and pull through. And go ahead and pull all the way through that loop that was already on your hook. That's a slip stitch and we have now closed that round. Looks beautiful, right? Chain one. Now we're going to put two single crochets in each space. So there's eight spaces, two single crochets. We should end this second round with 16 single crochets. It's always important to count, that way you stay on track. One. Two. Put two in this space. Three, four, five, Fifteen and sixteen. Great. Take the marker tail, yarn over, pull that through. We have finished round two. Put your hook back in that loop. We're going to slip stitch this round closed. So find the very first single crochet of that round. Insert your hook at the top, yarn over and pull through, and pull all the way through, and that closes round two. Great! 
Now the instructions start to get a little wordy, so it's going to be important that you follow along. We're going to chain one. We're in round three. So single crochet in that first spot. Then it wants us to do another single crochet in the second spot. In the third spot, it wants us to increase. That just means put two stitches in the same space. So we'll put two single crochets in that same space. Okay. In the fourth space, it wants us to put a single crochet. And then repeat. So one single crochet, one single crochet, increase, so two single crochets in this space, and then one. And then one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets, and one. Right, the last group, so one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets, and last space we just put one single crochet. Perfect. Take your marker tail, yarn over, pull it through that last loop, indicating that row three, round three, is complete. And we're going to slip stitch first single crochet of that row, insert, pull through, and all the way through to close. Great. Okay, uh, row four, round four. Going to chain one. I'm going to do a single crochet in the first one, first space, single crochet in the second space, in the third space we are going to do one single crochet in that same space we are also going to do a double crochet and that's where you yarn over insert your hook into the same spot, yarn over again. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two only. So let me, there we go. So you'll still have two loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over again and pull through those last two. That's a double crochet. Okay, next you're going to put a triple, a treble crochet in that same spot. So to do a treble, you're going to wrap once, you're going to wrap twice, so you'll have three, one, two, three yarns on your hook before you insert into that same spot as all the others. Yarn over and pull through. Now you have four loops on your hook. One, two, three three, four. I'm going to yarn over, pull through only two, one, two. Yarn over again, pull through only two, one, two. Yarn over again and pull through the last two. Beautiful. Perfect. Now we can go to the next space. The next space right there. 
we're going to put a double crochet and then a single crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. There's your double crochet. And in the same space, we're going to just do a single crochet, which is just pulling yarn through. There's only two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those. That is our first corner. See how it formed a corner shape? Now we are going to, in the next space, put one single crochet. And that is the pattern for each corner. So we repeat. I'm going to do single crochet, single crochet. So one single crochet. And one single crochet. Now we're going to put the three different stitches in this next space. So a single crochet, a double crochet, and a treble crochet in this next one. So a single, a double, two, and then two, and the treble, treble. So one, two, where there's three loops on your hook, insert, yarn over and pull through. Now we have four, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Great. In the next space, it's going to be a double crochet and a single crochet in the same space. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through only two, yarn over, pull through last two. And then in the same space, we're going to do a single crochet. All right. And next space, single crochet. Great. See, it's all taking shape now. So single crochet in the next. Single crochet. Next is going to be the three. So a single crochet. Same space, a double crochet. Two and two. Same space, a treble crochet. Two, two. Two. Okay, next space, gonna be do a double and a single. So double crochet, two, two, and a single, same space, and end with a single. Last corner, so one single crochet. one single crochet, the three stitches in one space, so a single crochet, a double crochet, same space, go through two, yarn over, pull through two, and a treble crochet. Pull 
also two, so two, and pull through last two. Okay, next space is the double crochet and then single crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. In that same spot, do a single crochet. And in the very last space right there, we, do, we are doing a single crochet. Awesome. Take that marker tail, yarn over, pull that through. Perfect. Now we're going to slip stitch to close. So this was the slip stitch from the previous row. So that means the very first single crochet from this row came from right there. Yarn over and pull all the way through to slip stitch that row closed. If you don't do that, then you're gonna end up having two additional spaces that you're gonna crochet in, and it's gonna mess up your count. Remember, counting is very important. People oftentimes try to get away without counting, and then you'll see a lot of flaws or errors when people do that. So then you chain one. In this next row, if you turn the work sideways, you will see all of the stitches from our previous row, all these amazing V shapes. In this row, you are going to single crochet in each space, the back loop only. So to do that, you find the V shape of the stitch, insert your crochet hook right in between those Vs, and you're only going to pull yarn, so yarning over through that back loop of the V. Okay, yarn over again and pull through your two loops. And that is your single crochet in the back loop only. Let's go to the next space. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And that's all we're doing all the way across. So this next V And this one, it lays on the front part of the work. You just find the V, back loop. And last single crochet right there. Perfect. We've reached our marker tail. Yarn that over, pull that through, reinsert your crochet hook. Gonna slip stitch in that first space to close up that round. Beautiful. All right, so the next row next round we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in each space across there should be a total of 32 single crochets by the time you reach the end here we are going to single crochet in each space across uh, until you reach the end of row 12 okay so we have reached one 
So this round was one, two, three, four. The fourth round was with these big major corner pieces. The round we just finished was round five, and you can identify that as being the back loop only row. So that was round five. We're about to do round six. So go ahead and continue to put one single crochet in each space around for a total until you reach the end of row 12, okay? Don't forget at the end of each round, you want to slip stitch to close that round and chain one. And I will meet you at the end of round 12, okay? You got this. I believe in you. Keep going. I will see you very soon, okay?